My name is Nick, and I graduated from UC Berkeley a few years ago in math and computer science. I'm also a bear prayer mentor. More on that later. So I made a video last year with some general tips about double majoring at Berkeley. Uh, but today I thought I'd make a video uh, talking more specifically about my experience as a double major in computer science and pure math. So my experience might be a little unusual in terms of uh, the classes I took and the order I took them in. But I just wanted to present it as a demonstration of one way to make this double major work during your four years at Cal. I was lucky I had a lot of my math requirements already done through AP courses and some community college classes. So I started with Math 54, Linear Algebra. I didn't have to take Math 1A, 1B, or 53. Uh, with computer science, I was also lucky to know some programming coming in, but I still took all the intro classes. Uh, so freshman year, I took 61A, 61B, and 70. The spring semester, I also broke into upper div math with Math 104, Real Analysis, and Math 113, after algebra. Sophomore year, I took CS61C, the last lower div requirement, and CS170, Advanced Algorithms, which as a math and programming person, I knew I would find really interesting, and I did. Um, I also took Math 110, uh, Advanced Linear Algebra, and I also took my first graduate level math course, 202A, which is Analysis and Topology, because I really liked Math 104. Uh, junior year, I continued taking uh, computer science upper divs. I took uh, 161 and 162, security and operating systems, both which are fascinating. And I also started to explore some research interests within computer science. So I took CS270, which is a graduate level advanced algorithms course, uh, as well as 274, computational geometry. So these were within theoretical CS, the sort of mathy part of CS, and I knew I wanted to do research somewhere in there. Uh, so I took these advanced classes in order to try to find what current topic I'm not wanting to do research in. Neither of those really panned out, but they were um, really interesting classes nonetheless. Meanwhile, I took Math 185, the last of the core required courses, that's complex analysis. And I also took Math 141, differential topology, uh, which is sort of an obscure topic, but I found really interesting. Senior year, I took EE16A, the Intro Electrical Engineering class, uh, which was my last requirement for the CS major. Uh, sort of got that out of the way. I also explored some more research interests within CS. 176, which is computational biology, and 276, which is cryptography. And cryptography was what I ended up finding my research in. If you want to learn more about uh, getting into research as an undergrad, especially in a field like theoretical computer science, you can check out my other video. Then finally, I took uh, Math 135, which is set theory. I didn't take that many more classes because I'd already sort of found uh, my research direction and sort of uh, took it easy for my last semester. So all of this gave me space to, in addition to my computer science and math classes, to obviously fulfill my breadth requirements, but also to take a few classes for fun, a couple language classes and a philosophy class. Yeah, so th that was my experience. If you have any questions, any recommendations I might have, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, also, this is meant to be the first uh, in a series about course planning at Cal. Uh, so if you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment for that. And finally, if you want to have your questions answered in a much more personalized way, uh, feel free to sign up for Bear Fair Mentorship. So it's a free mentorship program offered by A2F, a Christian campus group that I'm a part of, for all incoming students, uh, where you just get paired up with a, uh, a mentor, an upperclassman or an alum, and they can answer all your questions about academics, life in Berkeley, and so on. So if you're interested in that, then click the link below to sign up. Thanks for watching.